All right, today we're gonna to talk about something small in the boat. One of the toggle switches broke, and I'm gonna show you how to replace that. They do not sell them individually. I could not find them, and I'll show you. Let me show you here. This toggle switch right here, if you look at it, the clips that hold it together, those clips and this side here are busted. And I was wondering, where can I get one that says cabin lights? Um, I don't want to buy a whole panel set and you will have to get it to the factory to get a whole panel set like this just for one toggle switch. But all the toggle switch you buy is going to be in sets. They don't sell them individually. But I don't want to change the toggle switch. I want to change only the tap on top since this is just the only thing that broke is the little lid here. So what I did was I got this set. Um, I believe it was like 30 some dollars for it. Um, like I said, they do not sell individual ones. Not at an Amazon, I didn't find them. I got this one, very similar, the same size toggle switch. So they're not gonna look out of place. Now they do come with stickers that you can put all kinds of uh, information on your toggle switch. So in this set, what we're gonna do to take out the uh, lid here, we just have to get a small screwdriver on the side. There it is. Very simple, right? And if you look at it, they're the same as the factory ones. All right, let me take my surgical gloves off. So now what I want to do is get some alcohol. They have all kinds of uh, stickers here. I found cabin lights right there. I'm just gonna place it. You can't notice it that much because the back portion is black. So, but it's there, you can see it. And now coming over here to the switchboard, the only thing we have to do is get the toggle switch lid and place it in here. There it is. Perfect. There are little different textures. This one has the little dots and this one has line. But when you turn it on, just like the other ones, and just like the uh, factory ones, when you turn on the factory one, you get a little light, right? And this one also gets a little light also. So it does an indicator. The only thing is you cannot see the sticker as good as you can see this ones. So, but now I know it's this one right here. Perfect. So now I got my toggle switch back. And the reason I didn't change the toggle switch is the toggle switch is still good. It's just, the switch part, right? So so now I have this set because they will break again. And if any of the other ones break, which the weakest point on this toggle switch is the lid, the moving part, they do break all the time. So I'm gonna keep this as spare because I know they're gonna break again. And I got the stickers here to label the switches when they do break. What I like about the factory one is that it has a very good indication of what it is there but we do not want to water that to the factory because it's going to cost an arm and a leg. But getting this inexpensive uh, switchboard uh, is perfect because if any of the rocket switches fail or the lids, now I got spare parts. So you always have to have spare parts for your boat. Stuff like this, uh, this is a two and a half year old boat and stuff like this is already happening. So you gotta have parts for it. So now I got this for parts for the future. When they do break, I can just switch them out and get a new toggle switch. Like I said, I looked for them at Amazon. Uh, maybe you can find them somewhere else, but they didn't have individual ones. So that's why I got this set. And the set came with the descriptions uh, of the switches. All right, something like this happens to your boat and you cannot find them. Look for something very similar to yours. And if it's just the lid, Take off one of the lids from the side, pry it open, and use the lid of the toggle switch. That's gonna save you a trip to the dealer or ordering parts from the manufacturer. It's gonna be a lot cheaper, and you have spare parts. I made a video about little things like this because you have to upkeep your boat. If I leave that switch dangling there, it's gonna keep falling off the floor, and one thing to another, you're gonna have another problem. You gotta keep up your boat. Every time something breaks, fix it right away. Uh, don't wait. For later on because then later on you might have two or three things that are broken right even if the boat is new you're still gonna have broken part and pieces and of course the parts on boats don't last that long some boats lose some boats don't in this case this one didn't last more than two and a half years and if your boat is like mine that has toggle switch like this 
I will place the link in the description below if you have a problem with your toggle switches so you can get the same ones and replace the lids. All right, if you found this video helpful, how to fix your toggle switch lids, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Always navigate safe.